Hello and welcome to a look at the holding period return with me, Andy Duncan, at finlingo.com. The key thing about the holding period return is that it's nothing to do with time. The period can go from one nanosecond to one billion years, but if the figures are the same, then the end result will be the same. Time is irrelevant. The holding period return is simply a way of calculating how much extra cash, in percentage terms, you got for an initial cash investment, where the initial cash is set at 100%. Here's the general equation. We start with the income, then we add on the end cash value, take away the initial cash investment, and that gives us the extra cash we've generated from the total investment. Then once we've got that sum, we then divide by the initial value or the initial cash investment. We basically take all the extra cash that you got from the investment over a period, then we divide that by the initial cash investment. This gives you the HPR, the holding period return. So here's an example. I buy a single share for $100. After a period, I get a cash dividend of $10. As soon as I get that dividend, I immediately sell the share for $105. Now, in the real world, you might just check what the market price is for that share, but for our calculation purposes in an exam, we're going to sell the share and get the cash. So, what's my holding period return? And notice, I never said anything about the time in this period. Let's plug those figures into the equation, which I've set up on a cunning Excel scratch pad. You, of course, would do this on a financial calculator in any kind of financial exam. So let's put in the initial cash value. Let's take this away from the end cash value of the financial instrument. We'll add on the cash payment, the dividend or the coupon. And once we've got that figure, we then divide by the initial cash investment or the price we paid at the start of the deal. This would give us 15 over 100. That equals 0.15. That equals 15%. The holding period return is 15%. And that's it. That's the HPR. It's as simple as that. And the holding period return works for shares with dividends, for bonds with coupons, or for any kind of investment with or without any kinds of cash payments for any period of time, from one nanosecond to one billion years. Let's try a sample question then on finlingo.com. First of all, isolate the key figures, ignore any spurious information. Once you've got the right numbers, take those numbers and plug these figures into the general equation, which I'm going to do on my scratch pad to get my answer, though you of course can do this on a financial calculator. Check if the calculated answer is one of the three options given by Finlingo. Select it, then move on to the next question. Get over now to finlingo.com to sign up and to practice how to calculate holding period returns under exam conditions. Finlingo. Speak finance fluently.